Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the path testing in software engineering field. A path testing is a structural testing method based on the source code of the algorithm and not based on the specifications. It can be applied at different levels of granularity. The path testing is a structural testing method that involves using the source code of a problem in order to find every possible executable path. It helps to determine all fault laying with a piece of the code. This method is designed to execute all or selected path throughout a computer program. Any software program includes multiple entry and exit points. Testing each of these points is a challenging as well as time consuming process. In order to reduce the redundant test and to achieve the maximum test coverage, basis path testing is used. Path testing is a method that is used to design the test cases. In path testing method, the control flow graph of a program is designed to find a set of linearly independent path of execution. In this method, cyclomatic complexity is used to determine the number of linearly independent path and then the test cases are generated for each path. A path testing gives a complete branch coverage that without covering all possible path of the control flow graph. McCab's cyclomatic complexity is used in path testing. It is a structural testing method that uses the source code of a program to find every possible executable path. The various path testing processes are control flow graphs, calculate the cyclomatic complexity, make set of the path and finally create test cases. In the control flow graph, draw the corresponding control flow graph of a program in which all the executable path should be discovered. In the cyclomatic complexity calculation, after the generation of the control flow graph, Calculate the cyclomatic complexity of the program using the formula of MECAP's cyclomatic complexity. So this MECAP's cyclomatic complexity is calculated using E minus N plus 2P where E is the number of edges in the control flow graph, N is the number of vertices in the control flow graph and P is the program factor. And the third step is the make set of the path step make a set of all paths according to the control flow graph and calculate the cyclomatic complexity the cardinality of set is equal to the calculated cyclomatic complexity and finally create the test cases the test case creation for each path of the set is obtained by using the make set step while considering a path testing, the different assumptions are First one, the specifications are accurate Second one, the data is defined and accessed properly Third one, there are no defects that exist in the system other than that affect the control flow The different path testing techniques are First one is CFG, that is control flow graph the program is converted into flow graphs by representing the code into nodes, regions and edges. Second one is D to D, that is a decision to decision path. The control flow graph can be broken into various D to D path and then collapsed into individual nodes. The third one is the independent or basis path. The independent path is a path through a D to D path graph which cannot be reproduced from other path by other methods. The different advantages of path testing are the path testing methods reduce the redundant test, the path testing focuses on the logic of the program and thirdly the path testing is used in test case design scenarios. By using these path testing mechanism 
a tester can identify the easiest way or the shortest way or the minimum time required to complete a program or execute a program. So this path testing results in the formation of a minimum coded, maximum quality, minimal time software that will satisfy the customer requirement. So my dear students, in this lecture we had discussed the different path testing scenarios. So dear students, kindly go through these assignment questions. The questions are, first one, define path testing. Secondly, what are the major steps in path testing process? Third one, write about various path testing techniques. And fourth one, state the advantages of path testing. So my dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss the control flow graphs. So see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.